When you feel that, you can't fight it. You just go with it. Don't be afraid to fail. And you don't want to block the pain too much. Without the pain, what will we talk about? There will be times when your best isn't good enough. There can be many reasons for this, but as long as you give your best, you'll be okay. Did you get straight A's in school? If so, good for you, congratulations. But in the real world, you'll never get straight A's again. There are ups and there are downs. And what I want to say to you today is that it's okay. Rejection might sting, but my feeling is that often it has very little to do with you. Loyalty, betrayal, love, uh, all those things are there. The price in this world is a little more harsh. And my father is a, a great artist. I'm not an authority on my father, but I knew he was a great artist. And I, I've always loved his work. I'm very partial to it. And it was very, it's very important to continue his legacy. He was a loving father. He wasn't a, he wasn't a father that took me out to play baseball or those kind of things. But he, in his own way, was uh, very, as I say, loving. And, um, and um, his intentions were good. And then later, I got much more uh, appreciative and more uh, realized how special he was. And you take your, your parents for granted sometimes. And I wish I had been more curious about him, and, and I, I, I regret that deeply. I was busy myself, so I wasn't really, I'd say, yeah, 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 not to myself. And so I wanted to make a documentary about, uh, so about my father so that the kids uh, and his, my grandkids, his great grandkids, could would would know who there, who he was, what he was about, when he passed away about 20 years ago. So uh, I wanted the kids to see it when they got older and they appreciate what their grandfather did again. Well, well, all I say to the kids is that you know, whenever you need to talk to me, I'm always here. I try and I reiterate that from time to time and say you have. You know, not half yet. You ask me, I'm here always, and I never say I'm not going to be here one day, but I will say that eventually. Um, but they have to like know that I'm there and take advantage of it because I'm their father, you know. And sometimes we have talks and this and that, but to get to real important questions about stuff, you would hope that they would come to you and try to get into some of that in, in whatever way they want to try and do it. That, that, uh, it's probably not comfortable, but it's important. When it comes to the arts, passion should always trump common sense. You aren't just following dreams, you're reaching for your destiny. You're a dancer, a singer, a choreographer, a musician, a filmmaker, a writer, a photographer, a director, a producer, an actor, an artist. That's not a bad place to start. Now that you've made your choice, or rather succumb to it, your path is clear. Not easy, but clear. Power doesn't come from the title. The power comes from trust, respect, vision, work, and again, collaboration. You'll probably be harder on yourself than any director. I'm not gonna tell you to go easy on yourselves. I assume you didn't pick this life because you thought it would be easy. I can tell you some of the things I tell my own children. And as corny as it sounds, I tell them, don't be afraid to fail. I urge them to take chances, to keep an open mind, to welcome new experiences and new ideas. You do the best you can with your children. You do the best you can making movies. At a certain point, you just have to let both of them go and hope for the best. It's up to the audiences to decide if it's entertainment, the critics to decide if it's good, and ultimately, posterity to decide if it's art. Just be calm when things are going well. Be calm. Don't think you're on top of the world in the mm. sense. You always got to be wary because I've seen it. I've seen people come. I've seen people go. I've seen them come. I've seen them go. You got to be chill. You got to like just take what's good in your life and move forward cautiously and carefully. And, and thank God that you, that you have that. Just it's very, very important not to, to overextend yourself when you, when you think you, you know, you've got to, it's no such thing. Everybody's dispensable. You're never satisfied, and there's always a problem, always something to overcome. There's no such thing as, I think, well, if things would be easy, they'd be easy, then what? There's always a problem. There's no way around it. That's my life. 
And sometimes the problems need to be created in order to solve that problem. Um, it's one that has to be addressed finally, though it's always been lurking or there somewhere, and then finally it comes to the fore. It's time for it to come. Rejection might sting, but my feeling is that often it has very little to do with you. When you're auditioning or pitching, the director or producer or investor may just have something or someone different in mind. That's just how it is. Listen to yourself. I'm mostly going to talk about these, I, these ideas in movie actor terms, but I think this applies to all of you. You'll find comparable situations in all the disciplines. The way the director gets to be right is you help him or her be right. You may start out with different ideas. The director will have a vision. You will have ideas about your character. As an actor, you always want to be true to your character and be true to yourself. But the bottom line is, you got the part. And that's very important. You're lucky if you're, if you're working all the time and being asked, and then it's a matter of what you do with what you have. Um, personally, I always try to listen, because I might be not, and maybe I'm not getting something. I always try and take everybody's, because it's, it's important to listen to everyone, as many people as you can, and get their input. But then finally, you have to make your own decision about what you're gonna do, and that's it. That's what you feel, and that's it. And that, that's the most important thing, um, I, I think, the most important thing, because that's where the uniqueness comes in. Because it's you, you've done it, it's your thing. It's not anybody else's, it's your choice. There's right and there's wrong and there's common sense, and there's abuse of power. And as a citizen, I have as much right as anybody, an actor, an athlete, a musician, anybody else, to voice my opinion. And if I have a bigger voice because of my situation, I'm gonna use it whenever I see a blatant abuse of power.